Snow. 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 There we go. Snow. Snow. You go. Okay. So this is long, long, long overdue. Um, we were touched most certainly by snow about a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. Um, and I was, it was just, you know, the year had just started and it was a blanket of optimism essentially and uh, obviously the mean temperature did not rise incredibly but it was a, um, it was cold anyway so it was, at least there was a prettiness to the proceedings so, and seeing some children playing in the snow, a mother playing about with her son, that, that was nice so I, I was inspired to, uh, I thought, snow has to be the word of the day, this is so natural, so, uh, and of course live, and all their tabs open on my uh, browser, I was going to say Chrome, I've now switched to another browser, um, and, um, and, you know, so many different, so much work to do, so many different tasks, it just, I, I, I had the tab open, it's still open now, I'm staring at it right now, I was uh, meaning to uh, push ahead, but other projects and other things were um, also um, gearing up. So, snow. So this is obviously, this is oh, not maybe not obvious to you, but this is English, um, very English-centric, but I can look at some other languages as well. For informal North American, one website mentions uh, to mislead or charm someone with elaborate and insincere words, they would snow the public into believing that all was well. That's quite a curious play. Um, it's a very, very curious play of the word snow. Um, now, but now to etymology. So Germanic and Old English. That looks like snar or snar s n a w with the uh, appropriate grammar above the a. So snar, snor, snor. Dutch sne sneeuw sneeuw s n double e u w sneeuw sne sneeuw sneeuw and uh, then we have uh, our English contemporary snow beside uh, well, a little above uh, the German skneeniv skne 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 skneeniv skneeniv and Greek nifa 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 Old English snar of Germanic origin related to Dutch sneeuw and German sneeuw from an Indo-European root shared by Latin nix, nif and Greek nifer. So, very interesting. Use over time for snow now according to, um, well this is presented across um, a Google page, I believe it is pulled from Oxford languages. So, 1800s, um, pretty 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 consistent I guess and then 18 by 1850 it had risen even more in usage uh, 1900s saw a sort of decline 1950s again because we, we no longer had any snow because global warming was uh, coming into effect but uh, no and then uh, then by 2019 usage had apparently risen but presumably that's more just a case of um, us accurately recording I mean by 2019 we could record every word everyone uh, spoke with recording devices wrote uh, online and offline so uh, everyone has been tracked and monitored so proto-germanic snaries um, some wiktionary um, uh, references proto-indo-european snoy gurosh snowy from the roots oh i have to use these words in the book these that sound very interesting they have a very lovely foreign unfamiliar it very sense those ever that lovely foreign fresh perspective uh, I really like these uh, I, might, I might call village um, after one of these words um, uh, even a cute snarl snarl is quite nice um, so yes it finally it finally snowed again and uh, today we did not get any more snow in Birmingham but I believe down south they actually got some snow whereas we didn't even know it was obviously the reverse uh, we were getting snow because obviously we're more north in uh, the West Midlands compared to compared to um, uh, London and Essex. So, uh, but this time we seem to have missed out. Um, so maybe it was coming from because uh, they were talking about a second beast from the east. Um, but then I also read today 
alongside someone saying there will be more snow potential or melting snow and rain um, could provide hazards of course for cars um, uh, but they were also suggesting that we missed a second beast from the east or the, the worst is over now um, it's, it's very cold today but I think temperatures are steadily rising um, f the forecast suggests that uh, West Midlands will plummet again weather rise um, sometime next week but then well we shall almost be in February so I think the weather will be so I think I think spring will be in the air soon look out for squirrels because squirrels provide that optimism when they start bouncing around and uh, are hibernating less and uh, are waiting for you to uh, chuck them some nuts um, then perhaps spring is in the air and optimism has returned um, or just ring optimus prime and ask for some optimism but yeah so yeah that's um snow snow is the word of the day for 16th of january 2021 5 1 p.m and i will I'll, as i'm doing this as a voice uh, thing magic i'll for visuals i will include some of my photos and videos so that will be a nice um uh, fusion of video ideas so that that will be um, an idea so yeah Thank you. 